But then for some reason they stopped voyaging and nobody really knows why. And that was kind of the jumping off point for the film, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is Moana. She's the good thing about Moana is that she, the, like the film, the core, I think, message is your identity, like finding your identity. And I think there's a lot of pressure for people to be something that maybe they don't want to be or they're not drawn to. Tangled was my first project at Disney, so that was like definitely hits close to home. Um, working with Glenn Keane was like, I think that totally has sh helped shape my, how I see animation and how I kind of appreciate art. And then with Moana, just getting to work with Ron and John was like another like animation bucket list thing that I always wanted to do. So it was really cool to kind of get to know, get to know those guys and kind of get a peek behind the curtain and what, it, what it's like for them to make a movie and be with them along the ride, which is really fun. Early on, uh, before I was on the project, Bill Schwab, he was the character director for the project and they were trying all kinds of really interesting styles of characters. But uh, after a while, I felt like they were forcing style over like just what it needed to be. So they took a research trip again to Tafiti and the South Pacific and um, just kind of tried to capture the beauty of like the people there. So they did more and more research and Bill came up with a few designs that really felt like that could be the character. When we're casting shots, we're casting to the different artists' strengths. So we have people that are, they, you know, they do comedy well, so we try to give them comedy or drama or action, physical stuff, or like really subtle animation. Everybody kind of has their wheelhouse and we have a bunch of people in each of those categories, you know, and some people do it all, you know, but, um, when everybody's sort of in their element, I think the department really kind of runs itself. I think one thing that, like work ethic, is super important, and I had always been the one that would like push things off until the last minute, you know? So just trying to find the balance of like what is procrastinating versus what is being productive is important, but just making sure, especially with animation, I mean with anything really, it's a lot of just work. But that was probably my biggest challenge, was just developing a work ethic that would help. As far as the stress, I think it's really just kind of, whenever you get overwhelmed, just taking, not letting it kind of overwhelm you, just keeping an eye on the prize. Uh, a lot of times I'll just kind of try and separate myself a little bit from it, and I'll go and just try and do something different, I'll watch a movie or whatever I can do to kind of re-inspire. I just, I've started to just dive into like Tumblr and look at all the art blogs and um, if I can, if there's anything near me, I'll try to hit up like an exhibit or something. I think sometimes there's a, a thought that because it's like CG, it's coming more easily when it's not necessarily the case. It's really just kind of a different medium. Just go for it. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no key to the door. <laughs> you just have to sledgehammer your way through. <laughs>